was the Ultimate Fitness Training once again. Thank you so much for watching the video. And today we're doing another video about a particular subject of which is massive in order to get results, which is how do we keep them results? Okay, now um, this particular subject is one of the subjects that I like to talk about because it's one subject that it's all good saying let's get goals, let's achieve things. Is how you keep things okay uh, it's very important so I'm going to give you five main topics of which will help you uh, for certain um, to basically keep them results so number one is how do you keep the result and this is the question I'm going to ask you guys how do you keep it some of you guys may say uh, you need to be consistent some of you guys may say you gotta have the vision some my some of you guys may say work hard some of you guys may say have the desire and this is all good things, okay? This is all very motivational things of which we all know we need to do. We need to know how to work hard. We need to know how to, how to apply ourselves in order to get better. But one of the big things is the answer in itself is how. Okay, how? I'll tell you how. Is a level, a level of determination. This is obviously all put in the same pot. Determination, desire, vision, relentless hard work, okay? And not being scared of failure okay now there's a lot of other things that could go on and on and on and on and on and I could put into the same pot however is that main result of not having to be scared of failure now this will help you on how to really really achieve the results and also keep the results now one major factor of that is obviously is how you interpret that okay a lot of people may interpret that very wrong okay in terms of how you're going to do it and fear failure not fear failure and not get results now one of the main things is is actually understanding there's going to be hardships there's going to understanding that there's going to be bad days there's understanding that it's going to be rainy days there's understanding that you need to do it and i know our brains don't like uncertainty our brains do not like pain or this is the reason why we avoid pain either physically mentally or emotionally and this is one of the things that we need to understand it's going to be bad days however you will overcome it you become stronger and once you go through it you know and you become better version of yourself which is then leads to number two is surround yourself with people that are either doing the same uh, uh, aiming for the same goal as you or work in parallel with you on achieving a another goal like say for instance i could have a friend of mine for example say, say i want to get the best physique i can i could work for someone that on 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 another side that maybe wants to build a business okay i could work on uh, something someone that wants to basically maybe work for charity but is trying to strive to excel in that field so it's very important if you guys notice is people are trying to achieve things or trying to gain something or trying to better themselves they have not got they haven't got no time for gossip they haven't got no time to 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 talk about others they are striving they are in the race they're not looking backwards they're looking where they're going so this is a really important factor that if you surround yourself with those people there's a there's a good chance of which you aim to become better okay now then it leads to number three watch what you saying now what i mean by that is a lot of us we talk down on ourselves okay i was with a friend the other day and uh, he was telling me that yeah i really want to achieve a particular thing you want to achieve i'm not going to obviously declare here but he uh, he basically was saying i want to really achieve one thing and he was talking about the the projects he wanted to do it and i said to him listen so when are you going to start doing it he says um maybe next year and i says why he says ah oh, maybe because this and because that i said listen why don't you do it now why don't you do it now? Oh yeah, but this, but that, there's loads of buts, okay? What he's actually saying is, he, he, in his brain, he's not going to do it, okay? And I did say this to him, I said, listen, you've, you've said this to me about three, four years ago, and it never sort of helped. And this is me being friends with him, really. I had to really tell him because otherwise I'll be like, yeah, yeah, fine, fine, you'll be fine. No, 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 he needs to have a clear sort of, um, sort of an analogy uh, and a slower, a clear sort of, um, chat to him someone that I'm really going to tell him and, and after I've chatted to him he says Carlos you know what thank you very much for telling me that because that's what I needed to hear not what I wanted to hear but that's what I want what I needed to hear because what I told him he says 
You don't know when that time is going to come again. So it's very vital for you to do it now. Just do it now. Put, put, the, put the wheels in motion. Okay, we don't need to wait until next year. You don't know next year. I don't know tomorrow. I don't know. I might, I might be doing these videos and drop dead tomorrow. So I'm doing it now. So I'm doing this video now, okay, for you guys to help others, okay, to help me become better, to help me become a better trainer, better coach, okay? And this is the thing a lot of us think about, oh, I'm going to do next year. I'm going to do it now. She's doing now, and that's one of the things I told you. Do it now, don't wait for next year, do it now. So he's putting his motion, he's putting his wheels into motion. Once that motion starts, it'll propel him to something else better, and something else better, he'll meet someone that's doing a lot better than him, he'll meet someone that's got contacts there, and then he's waiting for next year. Next year, that people might not be there, okay? So that's a very, very, very important factor that we need to know. You need to put that motion in place, okay? Then leads to number four is you've got to utterly want to do it the vision okay if you guys watch animals hunting okay uh if you, i don't know most most of you guys but i'm sure you've watched um uh animal programs you watch when they're hunting they're hunting for survival it's serious so what survival means live or die okay uh in 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 in, in, in the animal kingdom if you don't eat you die you become a prey of a lot of the biggest, stronger version animals of, uh, of themselves. So you've got to become fitter to do that, okay? So if you watch these animals, whichever animal you want to watch, like for instance, a lion, for instance, or a tiger, or a jaguar, or whatever, these animals, when they hunt, they utterly, I mean, you watch, I mean, I, I, I love watching programs like that. And I was watching with my son the other day, my son loves these programs as well. And we're watching these, these basically tiger going after this uh, prey. Uh, and I tell you, the focus on this animal was unbelievable. You know, he watched this prey for 10, 15 minutes, and when he decided to go, oh my God, did he want to go? There's, there's no, there's nothing was stopping him. And this is what I'm saying, we've got to have vision, tunnel vision, to ask to what you really want. And that means, don't take me wrong, that, that might not mean just um, a sprint and, and, and a goal. Uh, what I mean by that, it may take a while, it may take two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, two years, three years, four years, but you're moving towards that direction. And that's what I said, is having those real emotion in order to have that relentless goal and relentless attitude, relentless desire in order to achieve that goal. And then of which then, then leads number five is, although you've got all the other stuff around you, you must think about what is the big picture because a lot of us what we find is we've got this goal that goal that goal that goal that goal and we're very focused okay that's great but sometimes you've got so many goals going on that it's hard to keep uh, the goal focused in one particular side so my big advice for you is and although a lot of us got different plates spinning which is great okay and i'm not saying for you not to do that but what i'm saying is when you really want that particular goal to be achieved you must understand that the focus is is to really focus entirely on the goal that you want to achieve and don't see nothing else it's just literally that goal in order to achieve so i say for instance if you want to build a, a bigger body more muscular if you want to lose body fat if you want to lose weight if you want to get fitter make sure you've got that goal in your mind see yourself feel yourself listen to yourself achieving that goal and once you've got these sort of focus in your mind and you've got all these sort of like rehearsed in your mind and it gets into your unconscious mind you'll see that you will achieve this re result because you'll be so in tuned with everything in order to achieve that goal of which you will achieve this goal and this is not I'm not just telling you because I think it sounds quirky I'm not telling you because I've seen it only or I've read it only I'm telling you I've read it I've seen it I've tasted it I've I've developed I've I've, I've trained hundreds of people and I've transformed hundreds of bodies to know this and I'm telling you I'm a proven uh, sort of uh, example of this of which not only I apply for myself I apply to clients and so you see a pattern over the years you see a pattern how people develop how people do it but one of the biggest things I find is I see people they begin okay and they drop they begin and they drop they begin 
and the job. And what happens is because at the beginning of the job, at the beginning of the job, at the beginning of the job, they never really get a pattern. So the, the, the pattern obviously is a pattern, that's a pattern anyway, but the pattern of success is never there because it's the beginning of start, start and finish, start and finish, start and finish. It's like you get in a car and you go for a mile and you stop for, for three or four years and then you get in a car and you stop again for three or four years. You're never going to get into an end destination, you might as well not even stop. So the biggest thing is, and this sounds, might sound quite harsh, is it's hard work, like anything, okay, it really is hard work, but the biggest thing is, it's not just about being hard work, it's about being determined to achieve that, and then to keep it, because once you keep it, you become your greatest version. So here we are guys, another video, as you guys know, I always come from a very humble place in order to help us become our greatest versions, um, and with all that said guys, check us out on Instagram, which is Carlos Trainer 10 I'll be very, very uh, grateful if you guys give me feedback on the videos. Uh, like, subscribe, and share these videos if you can. And with all that said, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit, have a beautiful day. Take care.